Hey guys, Lou here from LT's Custom Woodworks. Welcome to the shop. Another day, another dollar. Today has been a hectic, hectic day, but I'm going to be starting on a ladder build for some bunk beds. Now, this is gonna be sitting at 57 inches tall. Uh, to under the lip, it will be, where it hangs over, will be 53 inches and it's gonna be one inch thick. I'm gonna use two by six pine and I'm gonna start cutting it uh, to the length I need and then I'm gonna mill it to one inch. I'm just gonna rip uh, rip it off the, the table saw. Shouldn't be a problem. And uh, it's gonna be 16 inches wide. So I'm gonna start by cutting a two by six at the miter station and then take it over to the table saw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this this table saw up. I'm, what I'm, this is an inch and a quarter, inch and three eighths. So I'm going to take three eighths off. So these blocks are cut at five inches. It's 53 to the top here and an inch down. I'm actually gonna go more than an inch down. I got these cut, I'll go an inch and seven eighths down, or five, an inch and seven eighths down is what I'll make it. I will do the same thing to this side, and I'm going to cut this smaller, obviously. I'm going to mark this one out here. I'll do the same thing to the other side as I did to this side. So the pieces I got here are five and seven eighths long. I measured an inch and seven eighths up and then I cut an inch out of it. And it sits like that. And that will be the hook that goes over top the, that hooks on top of the bed frame. And this is for the other side as well. I will sand these down so it looks uh, get all the, the pencil marks off so it looks a lot better. So what I did for the risers here is the first uh, step starts at 11 inches and it's going to be an inch thick. The next one's at 23 and 35 and a quarter. And then I just stepped it back an inch and I'm going to cut. I matched it up with this other one and then I'll run my dado blade to it and cut that out. And I will be going about a half inch deep. So what I'm going to do is just... Draw these lines across. Now the total stair is going to be 16 inches wide. From outside to outside. So when cutting your your steps, you got to take into consideration the half inch deep into each into each side so you got to allow an inch so you don't cut it too short. So Okay, so before I cut this, I'm going to just start prepping my stairs. Okay, so I'm going to cut three 2x6s and then I'm going to rip them down on the um, table saw to one inch thick. I'm going to be cutting three of them 15 and a quarter inches. And that is going to be for the steps. 
Okay, now that I got these cut and sanded, I am going to set up my dado blade. I'm going to switch my blade over, cut these out, and then it's ready for glue up. And I will drive some screws to hold this in place. Same thing with these ends that they're going to glue and get screwed in there like that. Pin it and then I will plug the holes afterwards and I'll do that on all of them. So in the meantime, I'm going to start by changing that blade over. Now basically I unplugged the, the saw. Now you can use a, a dado blade or a, a, a router to cut the dados out. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to use the, the dado blades this time around. Okay, so I kind of cut myself a little bit installing the blade. That's how sharp these things are. I'm going to uh, set, I just put some band, some um, masking tape on it to, so I can keep going here. So I'm going to set this blade to the height that I need and then lock it in place. Okay, so I'm going to set up my first one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the first one and I'm slowly going to move the fence over until I get the, the right fit. Now that I got all my dados cut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the center. And I'm just going to guess that. I'm not going to get, you know, I can pretty much guess what center is there. And I'm going to mark all three of them like that on one side. And then I'm going to take my square and I'm going to draw a line all the way down. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to drill some pilot holes where the screws are going to go. And I'm going to do that on the drill press. Or you can do it by hand for that matter with a drill. And I'm going to do this to both of the sides. I will do the same thing to this side roughly where center is. Now I'm going to drive two screws in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark an inch and a half from this side, inch and a half from this side, and that's where the screws are going to go. And I'm going to mark these all the way down. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. to each stair. Now I'm going to glue actually both sides just to
going to drive two screws. And you don't want to over tighten it because you're just going to strip it. At this point, I'm going to clean out all the glue squeeze out before I move to the next step. Now these holes will be plugged, but the next step is to attach these to the other end and they're going to get glued and screwed in like that as well. So I am going to do my glue squeeze out, clean it all up and start just give it another light sand all the way around before I move to the next step. And these are actually the last step after that. It's a matter of uh, getting everything cleaned, plug the holes, sand it down, and ready for stain. For these pieces, I'm going to mark an inch in on both ends. And that's where my screws are going to go. So I'm going to measure an inch from this side. But on this side here, I'm going to start my one inch from here back this way. Now I'm going to be using uh, longer screws for this one. Now that I have everything sanded and all the holes plugged and dried and sanded and everything's all good to go, this is looking uh, pretty good so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my stain and I'm using early American. I thought it was dark walnut, but it's, uh, it's too dark. It wasn't it early American looks closer to the picture that she had sent me. So now we are doing this in early American. If I got to put two coats, I will, but we'll see what the one coat does. Should be okay. And it's the same method as I always use, just brush it on and wipe it off. I'll start with the, uh, the top here and the bottom. And then tomorrow, I'm going to let this sit overnight. Tomorrow I will uh, spray a sand and sealer, followed by three coats of uh, pre-cat lacquer. Now I'm going to wipe this down right away. I don't like to leave it on too long. Okay, so there was a big uh, mishap here. The customer wanted it darker, so now I'm sanding it down and re going to restain it to a darker color, which is a dark walnut. And this was early American, so I, uh, I'm going to sand it down and restain it to a dark walnut. Okay, let's see if we're back on track here. So I, I sent a new sample of the dark walnut, and that's what she wants to go with. So this is all sanded down. I'm going to restain it and go from there. Uh, it didn't take too long to resand. It wasn't too bad. Could have been worse, but not that bad. So now we're ready to rock and roll. I'm just going to catch this corner here a little bit. good everything's good so that was uh, that was kind of a mistake on my part I kind of looked at the picture that they sent me and it looked I guess it was the the, the light in the picture really lightened it up on the stairs and, I, and on the, the stairs risers so when I when I looked at the picture I said that's a light color but in a different view, it was darker. So we corrected it. It's uh, I should have did a sample piece before I did it, but I didn't. That's uh, wrong on my part, but it's corrected now and we're all good to go here. So 
she's seen a sample piece and we are good to rock and roll. This is going to sit till tonight and then uh, we'll go from there. Bingo, dango. Completo. Splendito. And I am off to pick up some materials for another build. That needs to be done. And then I will be back in the shop. It is like noon right now. So now I'm getting ready to put the sand and sealer on. And I'm using a Sherwin-Williams product. This is all ready to go. It's dried overnight. Uh, I blew it off with uh, an air compressor. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a generous coat. And let that dry for about 20 minutes to a half an hour. I will wipe it down with a 220 sandpaper. Uh, basically you're just knocking down all the little... Uh, high spots and um, uh, any grain that has gotten raised by the the um, sealer. And usually when you wipe it down with a 220, it comes smooth as glass. So when you put your lacquer finish, I don't sand in between coats. I just spray every 15 minutes and I put three coats of that and we're good to go. So I put the sand and sealer on and the three coats of pre-cat lacquer, I did it every 15, uh, every 15 minutes I put a coat and I ended up uh, using, the color is dark walnut, there was a correction that I had to do but I finally fixed it, it's all good to go, customers picking it up tomorrow and it is complete, off to the next project. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and uh, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.